Okay, so in this video, we're going to continue with the solutions to number two of the assessment one on MT3. And in this video, it's all about the type two questions. Okay, so we'll continue with number two C. So same, we want to factor a given expression. And this is 32A square minus 98B square. Again, when you factor expressions, the first thing that you have to check is that do you see any common factor? Okay. Um, first, I see that 32 and 98 are both divisible by 2 because they're even numbers. So maybe I could um, divide by 2 or factor out 2 rather. So factor out 2, this will be 16A square. And then 98, half of 98 is equal to 49 and B squared. Now, after performing factoring by the greatest common factor, you always check what is the remaining expression. And in most cases, it will result to a special type of expression. When I say special type of expression, there is a quick, way on factoring it and one of the expressions that are easy to factor is anything that follows the form of a square minus b square or what we call the difference of two squares or the dots okay if it's a difference of two squares then the factored form is just a plus b times a minus b or you could have the other order a minus b times a plus b and if you remember we have seen this uh, equivalent expressions when we were trying to expand uh, algebraic expressions so it's just the reverse of what we have been doing in the expansion okay so when we factor even a squared minus b squared it will resolve to a plus b times a minus b so upon checking, or if we check 16a squared minus 49ab, so this is 49, the condition for it to be a difference of two squares is that the expression should be perfect squares. So 16 is a perfect square, a raised to 2, because it's, it is raised to 2, it's a perfect square. 49 is a perfect square, and then b squared, of course, is a perfect square. So since it follows a squared minus b squared, then we could continue with the factoring by having two binomial factors, the first being the square root of 16a squared, which is 4a, and the second to be the square root of 49b squared, which is 7b. And then the second um, factor will have those same uh, expressions and then the first is a plus and the second is a minus or the other way around. Now, having this, you could see that there are no more common factors among the expressions. So this is your factored form, okay? Letter D, number 2D. In number 2D, you have 2H minus 1 squared minus 4K squared. So the existence of the squares here already signals that this somehow follows the form a squared minus b squared, except that it's not as simple as a and b. What we have is a 2h minus 1 and a 4k squared. So how do we factor this out? Again, since it follows the form, then you will have two binomial factors first coming from 2h minus 1 squared which is just 2h minus 1 and the second coming from the 4k squared the square root of 4k squared is 2k okay so you have 2h minus 1 and 2k so one will take plus and the other will take a minus sign and then simplifying this you have you only have 2h plus 2k minus 1, so just arrange the terms. And then on the second, you have 2h minus 2k, and then minus 1. So this is 
the factored form. Okay? And then, let's have number 1e. In 1, I'm uh, sorry, 2e, you have 16 minus 25 times b plus 3 squared. So again, the squares, or the square is signaling me that it's a somehow a difference of two squares. And if you check the numbers involved, the numbers involved are perfect squares. So the factored form should follow the one for the a squared minus b squared, which is a plus b times a minus b. So to get the first terms again, it depend, they will depend on the 16. The, the values will be the square root of 16, which is 4. And then for the second, you have 25 and the b plus 3 squared. So you have square root of 25 is 5, and b plus 3 squared will have b plus 3. It's like removing the square. And then that will be the same for the second factor. Okay, and then again, for a squared minus b squared, that's a plus b times a minus b. So the first is a plus, or one of them is a plus, and the other is a minus sign. And then just to finish up the factor, the, the factoring of this expression, we simplify. You have 5b distribute, 5 to b plus 3, so plus 15. And then 4 minus 5b, and then minus 15. So this is almost the final answer. We just have to combine any values that can be combined. 4 and 15 will be 19, so 5b plus 19. And then the other is negative 5b minus 11. Okay, so you might have written your answer in this form, like 5b plus 19, and then negative, so you have 5b plus 11, or, so there's a minus sign, there's a minus 1, or you have negative of 5b plus 19 times 5b plus 11. So this, any of these two, so this or this, will be correct. Okay. Next. Um, I think we, we should end there because the other expressions follows a different form. And we were able to show in this video a different or different types of expressions but follow uh, follow the form of a squared minus b squared okay so that's it for this video